hello friends welcome back uh, from the last video um, I had made a mistake here uh, so we were in the process of checking whether our answer is right I want to show one more uh, skill that you can do uh, you don't need to do this you can do it on a calculator graphic calculator so let me open my graphic calculator so yeah uh, this equation say okay so this equation, uh, this is the first equation and this is the second equation. So this uh, is minus 8a plus 2b plus 32. And this is minus 6a plus b plus 32. So what we do is open your graphic calculator. Uh, so let us go to equation. You go to equation. Uh, where am I? So here, here is equation. And then if you go to simultaneous, so you got two unknowns. I'll put two unknowns. So, so I'll show you. So here, yeah. okay, so yeah, okay. So I know my A is minus eight, B is two. So A is into minus eight. Uh, execute uh, 2 and 30 C is 32 that's the first equation and for your second equation your a is negative 6 so you go negative 6 execute your coefficient of b is 1 so I'll put 1 and the constant is 32 so 32 execute and then solve f1 uh, F1 is under solve, so it will solve. So A is negative 8, B is negative 16, which is same as plus 8 and plus 16. Okay, so so that's how I uh, we can see A is 8 and B is 16. So that's if you don't want to do uh, elimination method. Now, what I was telling is, it's always good to check whether the answer that we got is right. Okay, before that, I had to explain this bit. Now uh, yeah, if you look at this equation, what is this equation telling me? So this is a number, A and B are constant, so this is a number, and this is also a number. Now X is a variable, so X can be any number. Now, you should remember the right hand side is equal to zero, so a variable times zero gives you zero so this has to be zero now if this is zero this is also zero that's why i took this is equal to zero uh, and this is equal to zero okay so that uh, having said let us check whether what we got is right or wrong so what we are saying is we got a is 8 b is 16 we know this is divided by dx and this is the second derivative so and they have given us that this equation is equal to zero so we know this we know a we know divide by dx we know b and we know y which is the function okay okay so where is your y y is given to be uh, this is your y okay so so what i've done is if this is what they have said is equal to zero this is your left hand side so what i've done is so so 32 so this is your second derivative which is this 32 e to the power 4x times x plus 1 minus a which is 8 times the first derivative which is this 2e to the power 4x 4x plus 3 plus b which is 16 times y which you already know is e to the power 4x times 2x plus 1 so now what is that you can see here uh, the constant oh sorry the what can you factor out? You can factor out 16 e to the power of 4x. So this is also 16 e to the power of 4x. And here you have got 16 e to the power of 4x. So if you factor out that 16 e to the power of 4x, uh, a 2 comes here times this. So this has come here. So this whole thing has been factored out. This whole thing has been factored out. So this is minus this uh, plus this. So 
Now I've just opened the bracket, which is 2x plus 2 minus 4x minus 3 plus 2x plus 1, which is again simplifying 2x plus 2x is 4x, 1 plus, sorry, 2 plus 1 is 3, and this is four, minus 4x minus 3, yeah. So this plus 4x and minus 4x gets cancelled, plus 3 and minus 3 gets cancelled. So that is 16 e to the power 4x times 0, which is 0. So what they claim is y. So the if uh, right hand side, left hand side is equal to right hand side, we can be sure the answer that we have got is right. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Thank you.